couple here that says moving from Phoenix to Tucson 12 years ago was a blessing. Yeah, their passion for collecting vintage Mexican folk art brought them to the old Pueblo and now their collection brings in customers from around the world. Okay, Gun 9's Ryan Fish takes us to the impressive collection inside a modest midtown storefront. I'm inside Arte de la Vida in Sam Hughes and the art on display in here, it's beautiful and it's also constantly changing. But one thing that hasn't changed, the owners and their passion. It's a simple translation, art of life. Kevin painted that map on the wall when we first opened the store back in 2012. The art comes from all regions and corners of Mexico and other countries south of the border. Religion and history on display from floor to ceiling. James Goodrow and Kevin Pollack say these walls are as full as the ones in their house. What is it about this style that you love so much? You can almost feel the people's touch. Uh, clothing, everything, you know, well, here's a really good example. That's all hand done, all of it. Being a collector, you always are on the hunt for that next piece, that next rare find. We just buy stuff we like. They opened Arte de la Vida to start selling those finds and sharing them with the community. They look for pieces here in southern Arizona and even travel as far as Guatemala. Some people are almost in tears over it because it, it, it's nostalgia for them. You're buying a piece of history. It's not only the art that inspires James and Kevin, it's the people in Tucson who they call accepting and welcoming. Some even donate their rare items to this collection. We get the most wonderful people in here. And they continue to get more people from as far as Japan. 2023 was the store's best year for business so far. In Midtown near Tucson and Broadway, Ryan Fish, Kega 9.